Today's video is on the Alpha CD28X. And this particular boiler is quite a special one. Because you can see on the top of it, you've got this unit. And what this does, basically you've got these two pipes here which is the hot and cold. So basically what's happening, cold water goes into this and gets heated by the flu gases which are going out of the flu and then that water goes back into the combi like preheated and gets heated again by the combi so it makes it more energy efficient it's similar to the recuperator what we looked at another boiler before yeah. it's using the same principle of using the flue gases which have already been used the practical combustion as I said, it's going through a coil, heats that up, so it's like preheated, and goes back into the boiler to get hot again through the plate heat exchanger. So it's more of an energy efficiency type of device. On this system, we've got this as well. We've got this unvented cylinder at the side, as you can see. This is a potable expansion vessel again I spoke about that before yeah this is only for unvented cylinders used for mains pressure hot water so it's a modern house what we're in and they're using energy efficiency controls and equipment anyway the main problem what we're here for is the customer saying that on the pressure gauge here it's rising up when the boiler is turned on. So what do you think that is? Um, yeah, we'll be looking at the expansion of this over here. Yep, yeah, that's right. So we're going to repressurize the expansion vessel, pump it up and then we'll give it a try and see if that's solved the problem. I'm just removing the screw at the bottom. So that's let that bottom part come down. Then you've got screws here. Remove them screws at the bottom panel. And then that'll allow the main front cover to come off. We're now gonna remove the panel front cover now. You can take it off. So this is the expansion vessel here. We're at the top of the house. This is a three story building. So what we're gonna do, we can open the PRV here, let the pressure out, and then we can pump up the expansion vessel. So if you open that, just the turn, just crank it open. Good. Now on the top there you can see the cap for the trailer valve. Undo that and put the foot pump on there. If it doesn't go on, we might have to take that top cap out. Let me look a bit closer. I've done these before. Because it's got this thing above it, we might not get a stubby screwdriver in there. But we've got another tool, but we do have to get this cap off to give us that space to get the pump on. We've got the cover off now, we used a ratchet screwdriver angled one to get the cover off. Now we're just going to attach the foot pump. You can see it's on zero, no pressure. So that's why it was going up. So we're going to put air in it and then we'll give it a go. We've just gone over a little bit because we're going to lose a bit of air pressure once we take off the pump. All right, remove that off the... Just 
that, put a bit more back on, take it, put it back on and we'll let that bit more out. Go on, put it back on. That, that's it, that's it. Okay. Because that, when you took it off, you yeah. took it off quite quick. Yeah. It was just over one, so that wouldn't have dropped it to about 0.8. It still would have been too much pressure. So that's why I asked you to do it a bit more. Just going to put the cover back on, just put it on reverse. We'll close the PRV, give it a few flicks and then fill it back up and test it. And then we're putting the cover back on, hooked on the top, that's it. And then you've got the four screws at the bottom. I'm just putting the pressure up, just go to about 1.3, 1.4, something like that. The burner's on, and that's the yellow light there, see? And we're just going to run it, watch the pressure. Hopefully it should stay stable, and everything should be okay. Now I've been running it for about 10 minutes now, and it's up to temperature. It's increased that much, which is okay, because you're going to get some expansion. But the boiler's um, hot, and um, that's all good. And that's going to be the end of the job for today.